Today we're going to learn about even and odd numbers. Our learning target for today is I can determine if a number is even or odd using pairs and counting by twos. First of all, let's look at what an even number is. An even number is a number that can be divided equally into two groups. So you'll notice on the right hand side that there are cookies in two groups. There are four cookies in each group. If I count the cookies in all, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cookies in all. So I know that the number eight can be called an even number because I can split eight cookies into two equal groups of four. An odd number is a number that cannot be equally divided into two groups. So if I look at my apples, I have two groups of two, but I also have an apple out here all by itself. So you could call him the odd man out. In all, I have five apples. So that means if I have five apples, I can split them into two groups of two, but I will have one left over, making five an odd number. Let's talk about pairing. So what is a pair? Think about some things that you know that come in pairs. Shoes, socks, earrings, gloves. A pair is a group of two of the same ob object. We can use pairing to find even and odd numbers. So let's look how we can use pairs to find even and odd numbers. If I take the number 14 and I make pairs until I get to 14, I can tell if 14 is an even or odd number. So here's one pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now if I take my pencil and I circle all my groups of two, there's one, There's one, there's one. All of these can be pairs. Do I have any left over or do they all fit into pairs? They all fit into pairs. So I could say that I made equal groups of two and 14 would be an even number. Let's look at 17 using the same strategy. I'm going to make pairs, so remember a pair has two. So here's one, two, that's one pair, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Now let me make my groups. My pairs would look like this because I have two in a pair. So I can make groups of these. And then look what happens. I have one odd man out over here. So 17 would be an odd number because I cannot divide it equally in two equal groups. I'm going to have one left over. Let's look at counting by twos. So on a number line, if we count by twos, we go from 0 to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So every time I'm moving on the number line, I'm adding 2. So I'm looking at counting by 2's. I can use counting by 2's to figure out if a number is even or odd. So if I take a number line, and I want to go to 10 and I want to count by twos. So I'm going to make my pen a little bit smaller. Zero, the next one would be two, four, six, eight, ten. Is 10 on my number line? Yes, it is. It's right here. So I can count by twos to get to 10. So that means that 10 
is an even number. Now let's look at 5. If I draw a number line, again, and I start with 0, and then I count by 2's. 0, 2, 4, 5, what would come next? 6, 8, if I'm counting by 2's. So where is 5? Well, 5 would fall right here. So can I count by 2's to get to 5? No, I can't. So if you cannot count by 2's to get to 5, then it would be an odd number. So 5 is an odd number. So today we used pairs and counting by twos to determine if a number is even or odd. Now it's your turn to try. Remember, you can always go back and play the video again, and you can pause it anytime you need to. You can also reach out and ask your teacher for help.